In this episode, I'll be diving into five common myths that exist about selling a house. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. I appreciate you tuning in to this episode. If you're new to this episode, welcome. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to actually watch this episode. And for those who are loyal to the show, thank you very much for tuning in. I wanna go ahead and dive right into this, okay? About five common myths about selling a house. And so the first one is, if the first offer was good, maybe my house is worth much more, right? I've seen this where a seller gets a pretty good offer in a short period of time and they're like, is my house worth more? But that's not always the case because many buyers, almost every buyer has a different motivation. Some might wanna move fast and they're just like, let's just give the seller what they want. Um, and others might have more time, so they might be more aggressive with their offer. So that myth is obviously a myth, okay? That if the first offer you receive as a seller is good, that means your house is worth much more. That's not always the case. Number two, you want to get pre-approved after finding your next home. So you have a home for sale, all right, you, you get the offer, but you're like, well, I don't wanna get pre-approved until I locate my next house. While that makes sense, it's the wrong way to go. You wanna make sure that you are pre-approved. And actually not just pre-qualified where you just give them some numbers and, okay, you wanna make sure that you're pre-approved where the lender looked at your documents, your income, your statements, whatever they ask for, uh, whatever type of loan you are applying for, and you wanna make sure that you are pre-approved for your next home. That way, you're all set. It's the same if you were buying your first home. You wanna get pre-approved before you find your next home. Number three, houses sell themselves, right? All you gotta do is just put up a for sale sign and it's sold. Well, this is a common thought about for sale by owners, is they put the sign out, but many times, especially the ones that I've spoken with, um, they don't know the next step. They don't know, okay, what do I do? What documents do I need? Okay, I'm not against selling a home on your own, but you have to do the research. Like anything else in life, right? You have to do the research to do it properly. So houses don't just sell themselves, okay? Maybe when someone comes out and sees it, wow, you know, the house sells. But you don't just put out a sign and just say, okay, the house will sell. That's a common myth, actually. Number four, overpricing the home will give you room to negotiate and get a better price. I heard this often from sellers where they're like, well, why don't we start here? And you know, that way if someone comes in here, be, well, no, because if you overprice your home and you're on the market too many days or months in some cases, uh, you will look stagnant and it won't look good to other buyers. And even agents will be like, hmm, it's overpriced. Price adjustments do not look good on a listing because chances are when buyers, and I've actually seen this through the buyers that I've represented where uh, when you see price adjustments, it shows that the seller is pretty much desperate to make a move, okay? So you never wanna like come out the gate. Even in this hyperactive market right now, uh, it's uh, June, 2022, okay? You still wanna make sure that your price is right. Number five, all real estate agents are the same and they all get the same exact results. I totally understand this because before I got into real estate, I thought pretty much the same thing that, oh, all agents are the same and they all, they all have access to the MLS and that's all they do really. They just put it up on the MLS. Well, that's not true um, for myself as well as some of the top agents that I am aware of, that I know of, um, they're not just putting a property on the MLS, they're doing social media advertising, they're doing boosted posts, and they're doing, they're actually taking advantage of their network um, a lot of times before they even list your home. So they meet with you, you sign with the agent, okay? Um, and they say, okay, they start sharing that with their network. Hey, I have a homecoming, bring your buyers, right? Like a coming soon thing. So there's a lot more that great agents do. And by the way, on a side note here, a realtor is not the same as a real estate agent. That's enough. Actually, that's a that's a bonus myth right here is that all agents are realtors and they're not. You have real estate agents who did the bare minimum to get licensed 
and then they go out and they sell real estate, okay? Then you have realtors who are essentially real estate agents with a master's degree, so to speak, right? They follow a whole nother code of ethics uh, on top of the existing code of ethics as a real estate agent. Uh, you know, pretty much the basics, like don't break the law, right? The real estate law. But realtors are different. And so if you're looking to sell a house, for one, in Southeast Michigan, give me a call, comment below, email me, visit my website. But basically, not all agents are the same. And so that's a very common myth. I should have put that number one, actually, because that's the most common myth that I hear is all agents are the same. You're just going to do the same thing, right? Okay. So I hope you enjoyed these five common myths about selling a house. What myths do you believe or have you heard? Share your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to share this episode and any of the other videos that I've done uh, with your friends, your enemies, your family, okay? And help me spread the value of this episode and these shows. So otherwise, I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor, and I appreciate you watching.